Jody, thanks for coming out to the clinic here. We're going to take a look at your first video and two things I want to point out here. Notice how the arms are pretty much constantly going. They're going out front and then going right to the next pull. So we don't have those, a real thorough glide a little bit there and there, uh, but we want to try to get uh, a, a little more of a catch-up style freestyle. The second thing we need to look at is look at the angle of your hands when you're starting your pull. You're pushing the water to the bottom of the pool right there and right there. See the bubbles going down? You can see that. And so really we need to make sure those fingertips, hand elbows up, fingertips are down, facing the bottom before you pull back. You're just pressing the water to the bottom and then pulling at the end of the stroke. So you're not getting a lot of uh, power out of the front of the stroke. Now here is the second one. What you're doing is you're extending right there and you're gliding well. You do have a nice long extension there from your fingertips, elbow, shoulders, waist. It's all a nice straight line. That's good. So you get a little bit more glide there. You tend to pull a little bit early with the left arm when you're breathing on the right side. That's one thing to keep in mind. So you are extending a little bit better here. Notice when the hand enters the water, look where the other hand is. The pulling one should be right underneath your chin or face somewhere. So you're, you're getting there a little bit. Pull a little bit early there when you're breathing. Now, are you still pushing that water down to the bottom? A little bit right there and there. You're getting a little bit better catch. Remember, the first part of the pull is the catch. Basically, you want to get the fingertips down, elbow up, and then pull straight back. Remember, if you want to go forward, you got to pull the water back or push it back, not push it down. Real critical part there. Let's see what you're doing here. Push. The, see the, watch the hand. See how it's pressing to the bottom there. That's the main thing. That's where you lose a lot of power right there. <clears throat> when you are breathing, you'll see here. See how you roll all the way onto your side there. Want to flatten that out a little bit. And when we look at the above water, you're uh, over rotating the shoulders up high. And if you want to pick up your speed, you're going to have to flatten the shoulders out a little bit and to get that tempo of the uh, alarm pull going. So we're trying to extend out in front, but we want to maybe uh, rotate the shoulders just a touch, a touch less. Well, I'll, I'll be able to show you that uh, on the above water. Uh, see where the elbow is? The elbow is just slightly there, and there ahead of the hand, particularly on the right arm. So really want to work on your catch. I think that's really going to be the critical part to really turning your freestyle around. Above water here, look how high the left elbow and shoulder is right there. Those should be further out to the side because that's a long way to travel all the way up and over your head to get the next stroke. The next thing you want to do is you want to recover faster. We want to get up and out in front of your, your hand quicker. Uh, that way uh, you can get to the next stroke. So quicker recovery and a little less rotation.